What is the coolest thing that Shaq has ever done? Uh, all the times he broke a million rims. Yes! All the times he like pulled the rim out of the backboard or shattered it or like pulled the whole thing down onto itself. Absolutely the best. See, I thought you were going to say Kazam or the general steel, insurance commercials. Steel would be the answer. I forgot about Steel. Yeah, Steel, which I think was a Superman movie that they said, mm, no thanks. Steel yeah. is the coolest. That is exactly right. That is the coolest thing Shaq ever did. And he did it multiple times. Oh, like all of the time. Do you want to watch some best ofs? Absolutely. Here's one you... where it almost kills, it looks like three or four yeah, people. Yeah, it's, like it's like one of those walkers from Star Wars yep. falling and, down. And then it just kind of goes to bed. It goes to it's sleep. It's like, you know what? They should play. They should be like, well, too bad. Now we're playing with it at that height. Thanks, Shaq. At this point, yeah. they actually had to wheel it into a storage unit in the back of the stadium and weld it back together in the middle of the game. Sure to prevent him from killing somebody. What's that uh, phone call himself? like? Like, Hey, uh, anybody got any welding gear? Hey, where's our welding man? Where's our welder? Oh, he went back to Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> He's home right now. Would you ever invite Shaq as a kid to like come play basketball at your house? And playing basketball on one of those things where like you had to fill the base with water, with water. or sand yeah, or something like yeah. that? Uh, sure. Only because it would be the coolest thing I've ever seen. He'd destroy it. Yeah. He'd he would, absolutely destroy it. He would destroy it. it. Get a hundred of them and be like, wreck all of these. Yeah, he you're would do a, it. You're a monster truck for first basketball rims. Now in the NBA, yeah. doing that is a technical foul. Did you know that? That seems unfair. Because of Shaq. Why? They made a Shaq rule that said, if you do it, you get a technical foul. Do you want me to read the actual verbiage of the yes, rules for you? Yes, okay. yes, yes. So this actually appears in a, an appendix for the NBA rulebook mm -hmm. called Comments on the Rules. Sure. It's section 2G and it says, any player whose contact with the basket ring or backboard causes the backboard to shatter or makes the ring unplayable will be penalized with a non-unsportsmanlike conduct technical foul. Why are we penalizing the person? Like, shouldn't we be blaming the manufacturer for making this non shack proof rim? You can't give a technical foul to Wilson or whoever it Why is not? makes the Go find, spalding. Go call up. Just boop, 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 boop. Yes, hello? Yes. Yeah, just so you know, one more and you're out. Just blow the whistle right into the receiver. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> this is Wilson's wife. He's not home. Well, you tell him <laughs> well, when he gets home. One for you, lady. <laughs> but it is a non-unsportsmanlike conduct penalty, so you actually cannot get ejected. Isn't that just a sportsmanlike? It is a sportsmanlike. Okay. The double negative okay. makes it an, a sportsmanlike conduct penalty. You could line up as many rims and backboards as you want and have Shaq just go and rack up 100 technical fouls. You can't shatter, get ejected. Shatter, shatter, sh like a, It's like a karate demo. You know how you see like karate masters like boom, board, boom, board, 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 do that, yeah. but with basketball rims. Well, and then the grand finale has to be several uh, backboards stacked one on top of sure, another, yes. and then yes. he just palms yes. it yes. down from the top. They're like ones at 10 yeah. feet, 9 feet, 8 feet, and he dunks through all of them, <laughs> bringing them down. In a column. In the 1992-93 season, he broke two of those, at, like we saw in the clip. Yeah. Uh, where the actual supports were uh, damaged were or somehow rendered, were rendered, rendered useless, unsafe. basically. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it was quite unsafe. So what they did was they actually sent engineers to all of the stadiums to check out all of the machines. They're like machines that they wheel out. So they had to check all of every bolt and screw and welding point to make sure they could handle Shaq's massive frame to keep him from doing it. So I want to be clear. The same thing when like a bridge collapses somewhere in America sure. and the mayors of America get together at Mayor Club and they say, okay, it's time for all of us to check all of our bridges. Right. This was that, but basketball. Sure, yeah, yeah. Cool. The National Transportation Safety Board came and did an investigation <laughs> and made sure exactly who was at fault right. for the manufacturing defect. So I have a question. Uh huh. The rule says it's if the player makes contact with the basket ring or backboard, right? right. Let's assume that I'm amazingly strong. Okay. What if I throw the basketball so hard at the backboard that it shatters? Then you would be Chuck Connors, who was a basketball <laughs> player who was this the very is real? who was the very first basketball player to break a backboard and he did it by throwing the ball at the front of the rim yeah. which impacted it into the backboard sure. and it was missing a piece that kept this very thing from happening and it broke the backboard. I didn't know that so was you, a thing. Would, I now suspect you have gone back in time no, at some point and I, done am, this. I am a seer, but in a very limited, useless <laughs> very, way. Very terrible, the awful worst way. The X-Man. Yeah, Great. you would be 
Chuck Connors, who then also went on to have a 40-year uh, acting career. He played for like half a season for the Boston Celtics and quit and then became an actor. Well, after you do that, you're probably like, oh, I shouldn't do basketball anymore. Or you're done. Right. I, like, I said I could do it. I, I said I could You do said it. I couldn't. I did something more awesome than I thought I could do, and now I'm done. You I've, said I couldn't Tetris a basketball hoop, but I did. I did. So there. So there. Thanks for watching Weird Rules. If you like that, don't forget to subscribe. And if you can't get enough Shaq, maybe you'll like this episode of Beef History about him and David Robinson. Or check out this other episode of Weird Rules. Or do whatever you want to. It's your own life.